Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss NFS versus CIFS. What's the difference according to their pros and cons? So let's start with what is CIFS. Well, in the 1990s, Microsoft updated the server message block which is SMB protocol and named it as Common Internet File System standing for CIFS. Now the CIFS application uses the TCP slash IP protocol and works best on Windows operating system to share files between machines on a specific network. Now initially, it was incorporated for file sharing but now CIFS is exercised for network management and other network services as well. Talking about some of the pros of CIFS, well the first and the foremost is that it allows a secure file transfer within the network. There is no requirement for additional external transport protocol for transferring SMB messages from clients to the server. It is easy to edit, read, write and remove files or print queues. Now it supports record tracking, it allows easy access to the files over the network and it updates the client or user via notification when file contents are modified over the network. It even supports a file safe cache, non-file system attributes, LDAP services and record locking. Apart from these pros, we also have some of the cons that we get with CIFS. Well, it supports the n number of commands and subcommands for the file sharing but faces maintenance issues with these commands. It has a less data storage size when compared with SMB. It has a complicated configuration process and the client or user may find it difficult to diagnose and find faults in the CIFS system. But the biggest drawback is that it is less scalable than NFS and the communication speed in common internet file system is moderate, not that great. Anyways, now let's talk about what is NFS. Well, the Sun Microsystem introduced network file sharing NFS in the 1980s for file sharing and remote communication amid servers. The easy to use file system allowed users to edit, view, read and write files remotely onto a system. Also. The user or administrator has access to organize and mount the file system through the NFS. Now, NFS is affordable and provides better locking and caching performance. Apart from these attributes, we have a lot of pros that we get with NFS. So let's talk about the pros of NFS. Well, starting off, it is an affordable solution for network file sharing. It uses an external internet protocol infrastructure and it is very easy to install. It even has a centralized file sharing system that reduces the system admin overhead. Apart from this, you require no additional disk space or software in NFS. It even provides easy access to remote files, supports NFS mapped files and cache file system and a file locking system. It has a transparent mounting process and the requirement for removal media storage for security purpose is very low and it is a consistent and a reliable file sharing protocol. Apart from these pros, we also get a lot of cons with NFS. So let's talk about the cons of NFS. Starting off, the network file system supports the inherently insecure remote procedure calls or the RPC communication which must be allowed only on a trusted network behind a firewall. And the NFS version, version 4 and 4.1 have limited maximal bandwidth and as a result, on noticing heavy traffic loads, NFS may go slow. The file locking and caching system for configuration and installation of shared file access can be a daunting task at first. And NFS does not provide requirement sessions and it does not include any special security features in NFS. It has a limited block size needed when transferring a read or write request, and in some cases, users find it difficult to access files at the same time. Moving onward with the pros and cons of NFS and CIFS, let's now talk about the comparison between the two. So every comparison starts with what they stand for. So CFS stands for Common Internet File System and NFS stands for Network File System. And by definition, Common Internet File System is a protocol used on a Windows operating system to share files between machines on a network. And Network File System is a protocol used on Unix or Linux operating systems to share files remotely between the servers. Now if you were to talk about the NFS and CIFS ports and protocols, then for CIFS ports, we have for TCP port number 139 and 445. And for UDP, we have 138 and 137. Now, when it comes to NFS, the same ports are used for TCP and UDP in each case. So, for server, we have the port number 111. For operations, we have 2049. For checking the client status, we have 1110. And for NFS lock manager, we have the 4045 port number. Other than this, let's talk about the communication features that we get with CIFS and NFS. Well, the communication in CIFS is quite a mess. Now, CIFS is best for Windows operating system. And when it comes to communication features, then NFS can be the preferred option for Unix and Linux operators. 
After that, let's talk about the security. CIFS supports advanced security features and is highly reliable on comparison with NFS. And when it comes to NFS, there are no special security features and it is not as much as reliable as CIFS. After security, let's discuss speed. Well, CIFS has moderate speed, whereas NFS works on high communication speed. Other than speed, we have the LDAP services. The CIFS allows the use of LDAP services for storing and accessing the database, whereas the NFS allows the use of LDAP services to view the information. So, which one is the clear winner? It is totally up to you and your requirements. But if you still want to learn more detail about the CIFS or the NFS, then you can check out the blog linked in the description box. And if you have learned anything new with this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.